Hi everyone! The book I decided to do for Modern Fantasy was Dragon Watch by Brendan Mull. Um, a little bit about this book, it was published in 2017. I think it was published in March. Uh, this is the first book in a sequel series to Fable Haven, and for those of you who haven't read Fable Haven, it is a must. Um, in order to read this book, you'd have to read the the five books in the Fable Haven series to understand what's going on, um, because it continues right off, right where the last book left off. Uh, one thing I really like about this book is that every so often there are some illustrations um, that help add to the story. Um, here are some some examples uh, from Dragon Watch. As you can see, they're very detailed. And they help you to see what Brandon Mole is envisioning in his head as he's writing this book. So, this story begins when Agad, he is a, a wizard, which means he was previously a dragon, comes to visit Fable Haven. Um, he tells them that Wormroost, a dragon sanctuary, is following the fortification or the the house on the grounds is um, weakening, the magical defenses is weakening, and the only way to save it is to have mortal dragon tamer caretakers. Well, the only dragon tamers they know is our Seth and Kendra when they are holding hands, um, because when talking or seeing a dragon, you have to be a dragon tamer because if you're not, the very sight of a dragon will paralyze you with fear. You can't talk, you can't move, you can't do anything. And so in order to be a caretaker, you have to be able to talk to dragons. So their only option is to send a 13-year-old and a 15-year-old um, together to be the caretakers. So this is Kendra and Seth. Uh, and not only are they caretakers, they are also co-caretakers with the Dragon King, Celebrant the Just, and he is scheming to overthrow Wormroost and to let the dragons run free. And so of course, when given the option of having children become co-caretakers, he jumps at the chance. Um, so Kendra and Seth and the Grandma and Grandpa Sorensen are trying to figure out how they can fortify the defenses, how they can make it stronger, because after Kendra and Seth are made officially caretakers, the fortifications don't become stronger. So, um, Henrik, a, he's an Alcatar, um, meaning he is half moose, half man. He accompanies them on their journey. They have to go meet the fair people to have their approval of being caretakers because they, the fair people have a little community um, on the sanctuary and the leader has to approve them as well. So they go and when talking to him they find out um, a little bit about why the fortifications aren't um, strong. Uh, and actually, he doesn't tell them much, but he sends them to go see the Somber Knight, which is a, he's a dragon slayer. And he, he tells them this, and they find out that on every, um, preserve, there is, or every dragon sanctuary, there is a medallion and a scepter that go to the caretakers. Well, because Celebrant is the co-caretaker, he has the scepter. Well, they find out that the jewel in the medallion comes from another scepter that is on the preserve. And so they go on this journey to try and find this missing scepter. Um, and it's just this fun and exciting story and you just, I could not put the book down. Um, and so they're trying to save Blackwell Manor, or Blackwell Keep. And... Um, of course, it is just full of twists and turns, and 
things you'd never imagine. Um, and it's just exciting to read. And so, of course, will Seth and Kendra um, succeed? Well, you're going to have to find out yourself. So, hope you enjoyed this um, presentation. And I'll see you later. Oh, and here are my um, picture references.